Well, it's been a while since we've had this gentleman on the show, but it is time to chat with Oakville MVP, Stephen Crawford. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, and uh, thank you for having me. It's wonderful to be back. Lovely to have you back. And listen, it's been a while, so long, in fact, that we haven't had you on since Premier Ford shuffled his cabinet, and you have yeah. gone from parliamentary assistant to the Minister of Energy, to the parliamentary assistant to the Minister of Finance. So I'm curious, you know, you get the shuffle, how does that affect what you do? Yeah, thanks. I mean, it, it, it doesn't affect anything as it pertains to my involvement in the community of Oakville. So I continue to serve as a member of provincial parliament representing Oakville at Queen's Park. How it does change is with, for example, committee work, consultations, uh, things of that nature. So I, I'm really happy to be in the Ministry of Finance working with Minister Bethan Falvey, who's a fantastic uh, Minister of Finance. And working with him, we will basically set the tone for uh, the, the budget and the financial future of the province of Ontario, which is really important. And certainly it, my background, I think, is uh, it makes sense for me to be in this particular ministry. I have a financial background as well. So I'm really excited to be a part of it. Well, finance is definitely, you know, one of the hot topics that is out there. Really, the buzzword has all gone from pandemic to inflation and listen oakville is not a cheap place to live even though we've seen housing prices fall, prices fall recently rental prices have skyrocketed which arguably affects an even more vulnerable demographic so i'm curious you know being there with the province of ontario how is the province looking at making living a little bit more affordable yeah, you raise a very good point. I mean, inflation is definitely here throughout uh, throughout the world, uh, but particularly here in Oakville, obviously. Uh, you are correct. Housing prices have corrected a little bit, but most other costs have gone up. And in fact, uh, the reason why housing has gone down, one of the primary reasons is because interest rates have gone up. So that actually is making housing more expensive in, in effect as well. So our government recognizes that, and we want to make sure we can do as much as possible to help the people of Ontario. So just a few initiatives we've taken that I could highlight. Uh, one is a seniors tax credit, and we brought that in not that long ago. And that's basically a credit for up to $10,000 in expenses to which a recipient uh, would receive $2,500 back. And that's for changing your household and making it more adaptable, for example, for seniors living in the house. So mm -hmm. if you're a senior and you need uh, extra mobility uh, going upstairs, or you need to, you know, change some walls or to make it safer, reduce some steps, build some ramps in. Uh, the government of Ontario is here to help you out. We want you to stay in your home. And I think most people do want to stay in their home. So that's one example. We've also reduced the gas tax uh, on July 1st. Uh, that went down uh, by, uh, well, it's now a total of 10 cents a litre from the government of Ontario through uh, a prior reduction that we put through in place. And that definitely is helping right now. I've heard and, and we've, we've got emails and calls to our office. People are very happy about that because they recognize the cost of gas has gone up so much uh, for a number of different reasons, which we won't get into at this point. But, uh, you know, we've been able to help at least alleviate some of that uh, cost burden. Uh, so these are a few of the, the, the things we've done uh, to, to help alleviate. We also, of course, uh, just prior to the election, uh, eliminated the renewal costs for vehicles on the stickers. That's $120 a vehicle. Uh, that's a lot of money in people's pockets. And that money will go right back in the economy, of course. But more importantly, it's going to help Ontarians get through these uh, tougher times right now. So it looks like inflation's here for a little bit. Hopefully it will come down. Uh, but uh, in the meantime, uh, the government of Ontario is doing what it can to help consumers get through it. Now, do keep in mind, even though you're not charged for renewing your vehicle, you do still have to renew it. I found that one out the hard way. So that's a little something for me to the viewers out there. Very it good cost point. anything. Very good point. So on your birthday, you still have to renew your sticker because the government needs to know who's driving certain vehicles for obvious reasons. Uh, but there's no cost associated. Yes. So please ensure that you do. You're absolutely right. Um, let's keep it local here as we like to do on Halton News. You were quoted in a recent article about the YMCA Oakville getting a $24,000 seed grant. This is for their mind pump program to benefit young mental health or youth mental health, that is. Having four daughters yourself, is this something that is close to your heart? Absolutely. The future of the youth of this province is why I got into politics. And having four children, as you mentioned as well, 
I, I care a lot about the future of our province and I care a lot about the mental well-being of the kids today. And they have a lot of different issues that we didn't have growing up. You know, whether it's social media, online bullying, the world's changed. It's become a faster, quicker world. And I think it's been hard for a lot of kids to, to adapt and, 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 and get through in this environment. So the YMCA has created some, some programs uh, to help some of those kids out. They are free, which is, which is great. Uh, so we have a lot of, and I know they have a lot of youth that are involved in some of these activities. And the government of Ontario is trying to help the Y out and uh, promote these programs right here in the province of Ontario. And I know we'll have great uptake and it'll be of a great benefit to a lot of youth right here in our community. MPP Crawford, always great catching up with you. Thanks for taking time out and uh, look forward to doing this sooner than later once again. My pleasure and I hope you and all the viewers have a fantastic long weekend.